Billy Carrington, Good Direction, CBT Guitar Lesson. For Wesley, what's up Wesley, thanks for your patience. You want the Dobro parts. So, Dobro's probably tuned to a chord, you know, doing the slide stuff. So this is guitar and standard tuning, what I'm doing. Copping the Dobro riffs, which you're clever, Wesley. It's, it's great. And we got another one where you want the Dobro. I like the way you think, kid. Right on, let's jump in. So standard tuning, we got 3E, slide to 5. Now listen to these riffs, because we're not dealing with chordings, but the Dobro's in and out um, of this song. It's in here a lot. So if you're not sure on the feel of one, make sure you're using your timestamps, right? 3E, slide to 5. 3A, 5 pull off to 3. So you have... And then 5D, slide to 7. Quick breast, and then five slide to seven, vibrato. So we have. And by the way, when that when you go that three A, leave it down because we have to pull off to it anyways. So okay, this part I think quarterly, kind of like an F. I'm gonna palm mute three D and. Pick directions I'll leave to you, but we need 3D, 3B, palm muting the D string. 3D palm muted to 1B. So we have. I like the snap of the upstroke on the B. So we have. Now this is a little tough. 5D, G. I'm going to use third and fourth finger because we have to hit them both. Bend the D a whole step, the fifth fret D. Bend, release, pull to three. So that's, these are down anyways to help bend it. Get the middle finger out of the way and then pull off. And then go back and do it again, but just pull off, so. And then five slide to seven on the D. Another slide with the vibrato. Um, this one, I'm barring third fret on the D string down. I'm gonna go D, B, and then five D bend. And then three D. 10 seconds in, nice little melody here, um, you'll go, and when you see down up downs in here, it doesn't mean you have to, it's telling you that it's got to be played faster. Oops, well we'll get there. 3-5-5 five, five on the B, half step in, hold it, pick, stop it, and then come down, pick. And then three vibrato, so it's and then five G, and then bend the five G, hold it, pick, stop the note, pick five, so it's five G, bend, release, pull to three. Hold on. You know, I think that's supposed to be on the D. Um. Right here. That's on the D steering, Wesley. <laughs> uh, so, oops. This needs to be played on... D string notated in tabs I knew that didn't sound right so that'd be the bin release pull 3 and then 5 3 D 47 seconds in 3 5 A and then 3 hammer 5 pull 3 on the D and then bin the 5 D you can bend up or down. I like down on this. Usually E, A, D, I'm going down. G through E, I'm going up. Obviously the outer strings, you have to go, you know, away from the edge of the neck, so. And then bend again. And then vibrato, pick vibrato, so. 3D, 53 seconds in. Um, six slide to eight on the B. Short rest, hit again on the six. Vibrato. Um, 
You know, also something I heard at the, when we were finishing the that part that we switched to the D string. <coughs> it's an arpeggio in there. Go five six five G B E. It's like a D D shape, right? Down down down, and then up on eight E or up here. But you're playing in this area, so not in your tabs. Then 47 seconds kicks in. Okay, moving on. So we did the 53 second timestamp. The next new thing, a minute and one, and there'll be pockets of nothing, right? So you'll have your timestamps. You're gonna need them. Um, 5G, 6B, 8B bend. And that's gotta be quick, whether you wanna go down, down, up, or down, up, down. So after you bend, bend it again vibrato. Um, index, we're gonna do 5B, hammer 6. That's that cool melody, just played a little different. Rest, 6, 5. 3 vibrato. 5G. And then 5D, bend release. And then 3D. Minute nine, eight, seven, six. And this is on the uh, D, G, and B string, and it's a hold. In other words, yeah, that's at a minute nine. Ooh, I stop right there. Um, yeah, eight, seven, six. And then 8D slide to 10, and then 8B, a hold. You should hear both notes, so it's... One oh nine timestamp. Minute 48, so there obviously is a big rest here. Second fret, G and B. Slide to third fret, and then... 10, or 10, 9, 8, D, G, and B. These are just major shapes. You'll go. It's like a sweep. Down, 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 up. 10, 9, 8, 8. You're going to upstroke the 8 on the second time and bend it. And then 8. 9, 7, G. 10, 8, D. So we have... Okay, then, 10th fret on the B, pre-bend, step and a half, release. In other words, we want that C note off our bend, and then drop it. Okay, then we can go 8, 10, 8, to 10, G. So it's top of page 3, 2 minutes in, 7, G. 6B, 8B, bend. And that's quick. Down, down, up. And then bend again, vibrato. 5 hammer, 6B. 6, 5B. So you're going to start memorizing some of these. 3B, vibrato. 5G, 5D, bend, release, pull to 7. Alright, 2 minutes, 15 seconds in. Open D. And then you're going to... Um, Hammer to one, and then slide to, through first, second, and third, and then bar down and catch the three on the G. It's a hold. It's the best way to copy, you know, the slide, the slide bar, you know, to get that sound. So there we go. Let's play that one more time. Six on the B, slide to eight. Vibrato. On the G, we'll go middle finger, ninth fret, slide to 10. It's a hold. We're going to go 10B and then 10G twice. Oops. Oops. And then 9G, 
hold as you do 8B to 10D. So that gives you again it's melodic. Um, that's our chords. Um, after that, 2 minutes 30 seconds, 3 on the A, hammer on to 5, and then 3D, 5, bend release, pull to 3, so it's, um, middle finger 1G, slide to 2, so it's, and now country and jazz, it's not uncommon to get these little half step um, slides. Oops. Once you do that, hold it as you go 1B, and then 3D, and then 3B. So it's... Vibrato that three, that'd be cool. But he's building a chord. Three one D B. So five D bend release. Three D five pull three A. Three five D bend release pull to three. Five pull three. So let me do that phrase. We have. Okay, and then 5 6 B vibrato 8 10 vibrato 10 10 slide to 13 and then pick vibrato slide to 15 slide to 13 10 on the high E 12 12 slide to 13 13 to 12 so it's 8, slide to 10, 8, 8, slide to 10, and then 10 to 8, so it goes like this. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line down. Then, 5 on the D, 3rd finger, bend release, pull to 3, three and then pick 5, 3. And then one three on the E, slide to five, to three A. Swap fingers. Now go third finger three A, slide to five, to three D. Here's that riff. Oops. Really fun. Two fifty four. Um, middle finger 7G slide to 9 hold as you do 8 on the B slide to 6 so it's and then 8 slide to 10 again but it's rest ring top of page 4 8 slide to 10 again but slide off Actually, fifth fret B twice, slide to six, and then six five. Three, three five B G to three G. Three D twice, slide to five. Oops. I might even use my index there. It's a hold because you want the five, uh, the five G as well. I'm in the wrong spot. So you have and then. Seven seconds in, three slide to six, 
Hold, slide to three, slide back, and then go three, five, B, G. Five, D, slide to seven, vibrato. Three, eighteen, in, it's another sweep. It's actually the one earlier that I told you wasn't in the tabs, but I explained it to you. And if you want to get better at sweep picking, Wesley, this is a, probably one of the, the ones to start with. 5G, 6B, 5E, and it's index, middle, index. Three downs, don't go. We want up on the 8E. If you just want to work on this hand, go. They're tough, but once you get one, they start to make sense. 10th fret, twice. The second time, though, we're going to half step bend it. And then 10 slide to 8. Oh, but use your index when you go to there, so it's it'll be... Oops. Because you're going to go to the 10B. 8E, slide to 7. 10B. 8E, 10B, 10G, slide to 8, 8D, 8G. 